Can you imagine me waddling in this huge, well, just enormous shoes from Katya's? And then I remembered how you showered me with I the water. hose, and it suddenly dawned on me. I was running in the rain through puddles. The rain? I'm going to Paris! I'm going to Paris. I'm going to Paris. You're my little genius. I promise you'll like Paris so much. Have you been to Paris? Mm, just once. How was it? I only remember the ice cream because I was so little back then. It was so delicious. I'd love some ice cream. I'm feeling hungry. Starving to death, actually. There's no ice cream, but I have apples. Want some? Mm-hmm. I'll get some. Start waiting for you. I'm sorry. I came in and the lighting with the apples and the raindrops was just so... Doesn't look like apples. Well, these are my feelings toward the apples and towards the rain. But most of all, towards you. So these are feelings of guilt? It's absolute happiness. And by the way, do you know what I'll call it? Death by starvation. I'll call it love. Are apples love then? Well... These apples. Is it us? Who's this one? You or me? Hmm? Ivan. <laughs> Ivan! What? Look here. This is us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this is you. Oh, you bit my heart, you know. Mm. I'll show you. Is this you? Yes. Ah. <laughs> I have to go. Aunt Zoe will be worried. You're home. Where have you been? I dropped by my friends after work. Yeah? You don't come back from a friend looking like that. Looking like what? Look in the mirror. What happened? Alexandra. Don't worry about it. Your mother said she was fine back then too. Now look how she ended. It was an accident. <laughs> That's what they wrote in the report to avoid investigation. But in fact, your father killed her out of jealousy and then he took his own life. There wasn't any breaking distance. He just drove off the bridge. I don't believe that. He loved her. Loved her. If you don't understand anything about love. Of course he loved her. And how he loved her. He was insanely jealous of all the men turning their heads to stare at her. She was young, jolly and pretty, and she liked the attention. I shouldn't have told you that. Good afternoon, Mr. Good Ivan. Good afternoon. Please sit, Alexei. I'm not going anywhere. I'm telling you now. I still have to clean the lawn, and finish it by ten. Mr. Ivan, hmm? let's just go. Let's go.
With cabbage? With meat? Good morning, Aunt Claudia. I'll call you back. Good morning. Although for some it may not be what that happened? good. Come here. Sit down. <laughs> Wipe your lips clean. Come on, do what? it. What happened? Our curator has arrived. For some reason, he wants to see you. Then why should I wipe my lips? I said just wipe your lips clean right now. It's one thing. I wear makeup in public, but it's another thing when it's in the office. You look like a baby when you don't wear lipstick. Maybe it's gotta be fine. I don't understand. Why are you scaring me? One can't be too careful, my dear. Miss Linkov, you're very late. Quickly come to the office. Bridget Bardot meets Brezhnev at the Moscow Film Festival and tells him, Mr. Leonid, why don't you open the border so that everyone who wants to go can leave? And then he tells her, Why, baby? Do you want to be alone with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very funny. May I? Come in. Here. Our Alexandra. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Nice to see you. How about we leave you two alone so that you can talk? Yes. It's a bit stuffy here in the office. It's the last days of summer. Would you like some ice cream? I do. But only if Violetta would approve of it. Me? What's the harm of a little ice cream? None that I know of. I don't mind. Please, help yourself. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, let's go. I like ice cream more than anything. Back in the orphanage, I dreamed of buying all the ice cream with my first salary. You're an orphan too? Why too? I was also an orphan. Really? Mm-hmm. That's interesting. I immediately felt something familiar in you. <laughs> you know, it's very remarkable that you don't wear much makeup. I didn't have much cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> yes, naturally suits you. Thank you. Sasha, tell me about yourself. What is there to tell? It's important to me. Where do you live? Who are your friends? Why is it, though? <laughs> Why is it? No doubt that you'll become a real star of our fashion house soon. No, <laughs> that's too much. How can I become a star? You will be. And you'll go to Paris to represent our country at Fashion Week. I'd really like to. Me too. Did you know how persistent and meticulous journalists abroad can be? It's terrible. Who is she? Where does she live? How does she live? I have nothing to hide. I live with my aunt. We're not actually related, but she's the closest one that I have. How about your friends? No one so far. Uh, there's Rima. Your mannequin. She gave me a warm welcome from the start. Rima is a good girl. Tell me, how did you and Ivan Kolodov meet? Kolodov? Your neighbor, the painter. I didn't know his name was Kolodov. Kolodov. They are a well-known family. His father, Roman Kolodov, is someone famous, a war hero. Oh, so I've yes, heard. Yes, but Ivan is no hero. Why do you say that when you don't know him? I do, Alexandra. Ivan is a very talented artist. He is, but he got mixed up with dangerous people. They write libels about our country. Yes. They only notice the negative things. Have you seen his paintings? I have. It all feels so dark and hopeless. Where does that come from? Look at us, right? Two former orphans, walking around Moscow, eating ice cream. Sky's the limit to our dreams. You want to model? There's the catwalk for you. Want to go to Paris? Be my guest. See Paris. Why dig through garbage? I don't understand. General, sir! Onward, man! <laughs> Why didn't you warn us about the minefield? <laughs> Father, get down! Here, take this. The wounded Private Kolodov is here. Oh, yes, yes. Hi there, Private. Now tell me, why is your hair so... Just grew. Just grew. Oh. Hello there. <sighs> Zig Zauer made from Krupp steel. It was given as a present for my anniversary. Want to try, huh? You know I don't like guns. Hey, now, what kind of man are you? Who doesn't like guns? I would have sent you to Suvorov military school, but your mother said, No, our child draws well, he'd be a famous painter. And you did. And here you are. All right.
right then, if you don't want to shoot, then don't shoot. Why don't you have a drink with me, hmm? Dad. By the way, it's Armenian. This here is 25 years old. Here. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, the appetizer's rubbish, but it takes the smell away. It's called Nikolashka. Do you know why? Nicholas II, our last Tsar, invented it. You know, he really, <laughs> he really loved Dad, why did you call me here? Well, I did. I wanted to talk to you. Mm -hmm. To have a heart-to-heart -heart talk without your mother's hysterics. Sit down. What kind of trouble did you get into this time? Why is our name being dragged around by all kinds of enemy voices? Can't you just sign what they are asking? Just sign it. I can't, Dad. It's hard for me. I just can't. Isn't it hard for me? Covering for you and protecting you? Dad, I don't need your protection. Is that clear? Do you know why they're not bothering you? Do you know why you're not out of Moscow and a hundred kilometers away? Do you? It's because you are a Kolodov. You hide behind my name and do whatever the hell you want. I never hid behind your name or anything. It's not my fault your stupid system works that way. Oh, so you don't like the system either, huh? And did you not like the system when it brought you up? When it was giving you the education you needed? Did you not like no, it then? No, you can take your name back if that's what it takes. I bore my family name with honor through the entire war. I've never disgraced my name my entire I've life. I've heard that story already and I don't care. Go away! I don't want to see your face anymore! You're no longer part of this family! Get out of here! Soft loose fit made with comfortable material is still popular this season, with picturesque faults and a flowing dynamic silhouette. What do you think of the new girl? This impression is reinforced by the fabrics, chintz, and staple. Is she staple. good? Yeah, she's good, she's good. But not for you. Why not? The expressiveness of the mm. She's too pure, too right-minded. Wonderful. Do you want to make a bet? In a week, I will be making this pure girl mine. Sasha, good evening. Where shall my carriage take you? Nowhere. I live nearby. Well, such a beautiful girl shouldn't be walking on foot. Let me show you Moscow since you just moved here. How do you know? When you work with women, there are no secrets. So you must have heard quite a lot about me, too. I don't care what they say about you. That's the attitude. Don't just believe whatever they say. Don't believe anybody. But my enamored eyes. Look into them. What do you see? I see that you're only wasting your time. Goodbye, then. Sasha. Where are you going, Alexandra? That's it. No more negativity. Are you peeking? No. Don't you peek. Easy now. Sit down. Surprise! So what? Like it? Where did you put my stuff? Wasn't that trash? It was an installation. In... in... insta-what? Where are the dried fish bones I left here? That stinky herring? I threw it away. Ivan, do you know why you have such gloomy thoughts and pictures? It's because no one's cleaned this place in ages. Where did you put them? Well, in the dumpster. Where else should I put them? You weren't supposed to put it anywhere. Well, you shouldn't do anything you're not asked to. Damn it! Since when have you people started thinking that you know what's best for me? Why, maybe, maybe I just want to be left alone. I just want to be left alone! What is this? What kind of heresy is this? What is this? Why is this here? What are these idiotic chairs? This is so stupid. You're just like my dad!
You see? If you mess around, you'll get hurt. Sasha! What happened? Don't open the door. This is my house. What do you mean, don't open the door? Oh, it's you. Good morning. What do you Sasha want? Sasha there? I'll send you tumbling down. <laughs> Sasha. Sasha, listen to me. Sasha, we need let's to go. talk. Sasha, Sasha, just listen to me. To. Sasha, just please hear me out. Sasha, let's talk this through. I had a, a rough day and I lost my temper. Look, I, I have so much to tell you. I'm going to call the police right now. Tell me. I will. <laughs> but not here. You can't. Don't go. Where are you going? I told you, you're not allowed to go! I should call the cops. I... I... Sasha! If you don't come back now, you're not gonna live with me anymore! What rubbish! I'm gonna... I'm the chairperson of the local committee. So everything in our country is bad? Mm -hmm. And why should I believe you? And don't believe me, but believe the smart people who write articles and books. So smart ones talk about bad things? The smart ones are the ones who tell the truth. Wait here. Ivan, that's a flower bed. Ivan! So what? These are flowers. What are you doing? Let's go home. Let's go. I'll put the flowers in the water. All right. What do you have there? Uh, it's my dream. Hmm. Magazine cutouts. I want to become an interpreter and travel the world. A beautiful dream, but in this country it'll never come true. All over the world people travel, smile at each other, and we live in a cage behind an iron curtain. You're talking bad again. I'll stop. <sighs> Here, take it. Artist and the Regime. What a gruesome title. Now pay attention. This is self-published. It's forbidden literature, so don't read it out of its cover or they will dismember you. Wow, it must be expensive. They're hard to get. Even my Alexei probably can't. I remember last week you were out with Sergei. How come you don't get them mixed up? Don't be jealous, Anna. Be careful, your face sucker will crumble. <laughs> you can share them if you want. Oh no no, you see this? I've got enough Hello of my everyone. Own. Hello. Oh, what's this? This means you have an admirer now. I have a guess who it is. Vadim. Yes, Vadim. At the last show, he didn't take his eyes off Alexandra. Hello there, girls. Hi there. Hi there.
How many times do I have to tell you not to put your stuff in my place? Use your own spot! Wow... What do we have here? No, don't! Oh, Give is it, it back! something forbidden? Give it back! Would you look Give at it that back. little sour Give it back! An anti oh, Give me agency. that! I'm just curious. Let me take a Give look. Give me that! <laughs> no way! What's going on here? Will you look at this? Linkov had it in her purse. Uh, girls, everyone go to the political information briefing. Move it, move it, move it! Come on, keep it moving. Stay here. Where did you get this? From a friend? That's not a friend. That's your enemy. Don't you understand that you can go to jail for this? For what? Just by finding this book inside your bag. And even if they don't arrest you, they'll pin some cases on you for sure. You can kiss Paris in your whole career goodbye. Here, hide it. And then be sure to give it back to your so-called friend. Do you understand? Understood. <laughs> We're here. I'll be fine here, Semyon. I thought I would be staying over. You did kick your niece out. Yes, I did. But she's living with a neighbor. What if she sees us? She won't. I'm like a scout. <laughs> I can hide in the walls. What do you say at home, scout? That you've been to enemy rear lines? <laughs> Why do you say that? I said I'm getting a divorce. I believe you, Semyon. Let's just go another day. <laughs> you promised to behave, Semyon. <sighs> yes, General. Uh, see ya. Uh -huh. <laughs> A puddle! <laughs> uh, go on. Go on. Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> go on! <laughs> Mrs. Zoe Kuznetsov? Yes, and you are? <laughs> I'm going to need to talk to you. This way. I didn't know he was married. I mean, of course I knew, but he wasn't living with his wife for two years now. I mean, as a husband, he's basically not her husband. Mrs. Kuznetsov, who do you mean? Uh, Mr. Semyon. <sighs> this is not about Mr. Semyon. For now, I wanted to talk to you about your niece, Alexandra. What is this about? What happened? Your niece is in trouble. She's with dangerous people. It's that artist. I know. I kicked her out. Now that was a mistake. Where do you think she went? Hmm? It's not hard to guess. And now she's reading forbidden literature. Oh my god. God has nothing to do with it. Do you realize what this looks like? National treason. And you are an accomplice. Her closest relative who saw all this and didn't take action. Don't worry so much. For starters, let's bring Alexandra back home, all right? Go ahead. Ivan, I definitely remember putting it in the bag. Is it possible that someone took it? Lilia could have. She must have taken it. I'll take it back tomorrow. You really shouldn't have brought that self-published literature to that stupid work of yours, Sasha. Is my work stupid? I... Our curator was right that you see the worst in everything. W -w what do you mean? Who said that? Mr. Kim. How do you know him? He supervises our fashion house. What did he ask you? 
Well, how I live, my interests. How about me? Yes, he said you were very nice, but mixed up with bad people. He's a bastard trying to drag you into this. I thought that he was nice and a gentleman. He was so polite. Well, he can be good at that. So, what did you tell him? I never snitched and I never will, you understand? You won't even notice how you'll be working for them, Sasha. I'm telling you. You can't communicate with them, you can't meet them, you can't say hello or walk the same path. You can't be with them, that's all. Maybe you'd better lock me up then. Stop me from meeting or talking to anyone. You just sit in here like an owl all day. You're sulking at the world. But people meet and communicate. He gave this to you then? No. I got the flowers from someone else. An admirer. How many admirers do you have? I can have as many as I want. Mr. Kim treated me to ice cream. I see. Ivan! Ivan! Where are you going? I'm leaving so I don't sit like an owl. I'll go look for some admirers. Well, you should know that I'm making this installation for you! Yeah, it's great here, it's great here. <sighs> Hello there. I'll give you a little bit of this. You got it. Little by little, uh, little by little, uh, that's it. Let's toast. Mm. Right. Cheers. To whatever is in store for us. That's true. <laughs> give it to me. I'll add more. Hello, Here we go. Oh. Hi, Dina. Hi there. Hello there. Why didn't you come to the exhibition? I was busy. I was Hi, working. Bro. Hi there. Oh, hello there. There. Drink up. Take this. Okay. Help yourself. Thank you. <laughs> By the way? Come on, let me Yartsev drink some was more. there. It wouldn't hurt if you're going to meet him. My job is to make paintings, not to drag around these silly events in search of the right That's acquaintances. Right. You got it right. Paintings yeah. are your... yes. Uh -huh. And you've been painting a lot lately. Maybe you can invite me to your studio and show me. Dina, just leave me alone, please. No, I won't, Ivan. Well, you're... Uh, you're a talented man. Who needs me with this kind you, of talent? Uh, Even my own father abandoned me. What do you mean, abandoned? He just disowned me, stripped me of my family name, and said, get out of here, that's it. Do you realize what this means? Of course, it just means, spread whoever you want, go get him, go, fight Ivan, him! Ivan, this is very serious. Yes, I know it's serious. Well done. That's a good boy. He got it right. He's right. There's right. no way out. There will be a way out. Ivan, don't worry. Everything will turn out just fine. Come on, just drink a little more. Oh, here's your way out. Don't there is that no way out. Yes, there is. Got the, the old corner. Well, let's come on. Hi there. By the way, do you know what my admirers asked me to do? They uh, asked me to get married, but I didn't. I have principles, and I love you. Why are your eyes red? I couldn't sleep. Can I take a short break? Okay, Linka. Your personal problems are nobody's business here. I have to finish this dress today. Tell me, please. Is everything all right? <sighs> no, Masha. We had an agreement that there won't be any notches in this dress. So how will it fit then? Oh, we'll make it fit in that. Natasha, your aunt is having a hypertensive crisis right now. Crisis? Ah, uh, that's right. Alexandra, stop! I'm in a hurry. You're almost naked. Let me give you a ride. Come on, just get in. I'm really in a hurry. With such blood pressure, you need to go to the hospital. No way. I'll just rest at home. Aunt Zoe, if the doctor says you need to go to the hospital, then I you need to go. I said I'm not going anywhere. You know, I have a wonderful... Vadim, it's fine. Write 20 milligrams. Now, you will take care of me. But you kicked me out. She will take care of me. She's a good girl and very responsible. I know. I know. She will be under your responsibility then. I prescribed a potent medication, but pharmacies don't have it. So where can we get it? Oh, don't worry about that. 
We'll get it. Mm -hmm. All right then. Take a rest and get well soon. Have a nice day. All the Have best. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. May I know your name? Vadim. Zoe, pleased Same to meet here. you. Uh, Vadim, thank you so much. Take care. Sasha. Um, I do need to get going. Get well soon. Alexandra, I will see you later. All the best. Have, Have a, a nice day. day. What a fine lad. He was tactful and polite. And look at his wristwatch. I think he likes you. Well, I don't. Listen, isn't your uncle working at the Kremlin Hospital? <sighs> so? I have to get some blood pressure medicine for Alexandra's aunt. Listen, Vadim, why are you obsessing over her? Girls like her only go to bed after the wedding. No other way. A wedding? That's a good idea. A good one. What are you doing here? First of all, good morning. And here, as I promised. The medicine? Yes. How did you get this? The doctor said it's not in stock. Alexandra, for you, I will get the moon from the sky. Oh, can I be casual? It's okay. Thank you so much it's for fine. this. Is it it's fine? fine? How much is it's this? It's free. No way. I'll certainly give you the That's money. That's out of the question. Get going and make your aunt happy. Uh, I'll just wait for you here. So tell me, who was that fancy dude you were kissing? An acquaintance? He got the medicine for Aunt Zoe. And he gave you the flowers, right? What's up with the flowers? I see. What do you mean? The guy's an optimist. He sees only good in everything. And he'll get you anything. At least he's doing something unlike some. Whatever. Sasha! You forgot this. Thank you. See you soon. Hello there, girls. Well, well done. You don't waste time. You'll go far. Well, hello. Hi, Ben. To what do I owe the pleasure? What are you doing, you parasite? Come on. Listen here. No, you listen to me now. If you're going down, go down on your own. I won't let you drag the poor girl with me. I don't give a damn what you let or don't let me do. Who the hell do you think you are? Who am I? I'm her aunt, for Christ's sake. Who are you? And where have you been while she was suffering at the orphanage, huh? Who are you, sucker, to ask me that? Just who are you? I love her and she loves me too, that's all, so stop disturbing me. <sighs> Ivan, please Ivan. Ivan, she's just a little girl. What do you mean love? She's seen nothing but shit all her life. She just arrived here. Just when she's got something good going, you're going to pull her back into that shit again? They'll fire her from the job. And where will she go? To that shithole or to prison with you? Why would you say that? You ask me why? Why do you think my blood pressure skyrocketed? Why did I call an ambulance? They came to me. They came to me. And it's all because of you, Ivan. What would they want with you? What do you mean, what? I'm a relative. That's it. The last warning. And the next time, they will impose their measures. Bastards. They're real bastards, Ivan. You know it yourself. They won't hesitate to crush a girl's life. Ivan. Hmm. Break up with her. She won't go away. If you truly love her as much as you claim, make her go away. Oh, Ivan, good thing I found you. Uh, is everything all right? Listen, Ivan, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The KGB called. 
They're summoning you. I wrote it all down. Be there tomorrow. At that address. Hello. Wings of Judas. How did you come up with this? If you don't want to do it the easy way, we'll do it the hard way. You can't scare I'm me. I'm not trying to. Well, please take a seat. Who would dare touch Kolodov's son? Your acquaintance, however, Alexandra Linkov. You should leave her out of this, she's innocent. Well, of course. Absolutely innocent. She's a pure, chaste girl, dreaming of Paris. But one day, it goes bang. Prison instead of Paris. What for? Well, what for? for possession of forbidden literature. In that case... Arrest me. That's my book. <laughs> but I don't need you. I need your signature. Sign it. The letter against the anti-Soviet exhibition, and your girlfriend won't be harmed. She isn't my girlfriend. What do you mean? I actually have a Jewish fiancé and we're getting married soon. We're going to Israel. Well, in that case... Where there's no man, then there's no problem. Yes, hello. Yes, it's Ivan. I agree. Mm-hmm. Okay, bye. Uh, what are you Let's doing? just go home. The, 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 the door is right. Oh. Stop it already. Get inside. Just go to sleep. Hello, who Hi are there. you? Me? I'm Ivan's fiance, Dina. What fiance? That's nonsense. Ivan! 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 <laughs> Ivan! Ivan, you should stop joking around. This girl is saying that she's your fiancé. It's not a joke. We're getting married and going to Israel. That's it. Look, Ivan! Why Israel? What about me? Ivan! I have to leave now and you need to go. Ivan! I need you to go! Please go away! Go away. Here are your things. This seems to be yours too.
Alexandra, my girl. I've been waiting for you. Come on, hurry up inside, my girl. Give me the suitcase. Come on, take off your shoes right away. Let's have some tea. Give it here. Oh, the medicine helped me so much. What a cure. You have no idea, but now I'll be with you. We can have dinner together. Oh, I'm so glad you came back. Here, have some tea. This will calm you down. Alexandra, my dear, you don't have anything to worry about. Look here. We have snacks, truffles. Come on. Here, have some. <sighs> It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be all right. She'll come back. What is it? Sasha, what's wrong? Huh? What is it? Did someone hurt you? Who? Your aunt? No? That painter of yours? Him? Do you want me to punch him, huh? No, you don't want to? There, there. Take it easy. Calm down. Huh? Calm down. Everything will be fine. I'll hang it nicely now. Do you like candies? A mint? I personally find them very soothing. Help yourself. You gonna have the pink one? Help yourself. Please excuse me. It just happened. It won't happen again. <laughs> it's all right. You're welcome to cry. I understand. Sometimes I'd like to cry on someone's shoulder myself. You? Yeah, I'm also human. Mm. You know, back then at the orphanage, the longing would strike suddenly. Mm -hmm. You stuff Especially your pillow at night. in your face. Mm -hmm. You clench your teeth and cry quietly so no one can hear. Because they'll laugh at you. That's right. You can't show your weakness to anyone, mm -mm. even to someone close. I just showed it to you, though. <laughs> it's all right. Just to me. We're alike. We're orphans. <laughs> How about let's go to the movies to help you forget? It's nearby. Let's go. The time we live in is great. There's a movie theater everywhere. Back in the days, cinema crews would visit the orphanage. The nanny sewed four sheets together and that was our screen. The first film I remember was about Shapayev. Wow. That's it. Let's say goodbye. We will? Although I don't want to. Thank you. You really helped me a lot. You're welcome. Feel better. If you want to cry some more, my shoulder is at your service. Mm -hmm. Right. Take a sleeping pill. <laughs> Yes, it's not a cheap job. Our customer is not easy either. Oh, I forgot. I have to make a phone call. Please give me a minute. Hmm? Hi there. What are you doing here? I'm fitting some dresses. I'm the customer. The dress is for you. Sasha, will you marry me? Why does everyone want to get married? You're home! Oh, you look beautiful today, Aunt Zoe. Uh, uh, really? Yes. Uh, I have someone here. <clears throat> I mean, a friend from work dropped by. Come on in. I'd like you to meet... My niece, Alexandra. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Have a seat, Alexandra. Uh, 
Are you from the committee? Who, me? No, I do maintenance. I'll go ahead. Now, Mrs. Zoe, get well soon. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you for visiting. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> See you later. Mr. Semyon, I'll show you out. Just look at what you did to my back. Where? Where, where? My back is all messed up. What? It's all twisted like a hump. There, I fixed You better it. have. You come grab a bite. Okay. I cooked the fish, okay? It's on the frying pan. Sounds good. The salad's on the table, too. Yes. Come and have some food. And he asked me to marry him. I didn't expect him to leave his wife. No, he said, I can't live without you, Zoe. He loves you. I turned him down. But why? It's obvious. How are we going to live? He will... leave the apartment to his wife and son. There's already two of us living here, so where will I bring him? That's not it. I didn't mean that to you. Uh, we never lived well anyway. I would never I Is that a yes? On one condition. Anything for you. Let's register today and no wedding. Are you... a student at the university, just like Alexandra is? Uh, <laughs> did Vadim tell you that? He did. What a decent man! <laughs> He's alright. Um, why would you tell them that I'm a university student? Just look at them. They have so many... prejudices. Vadim, you could have asked your parents for advice, you know. Let it go. On what? Registered in secret? It all happened so fast. Did you help them to do it? I didn't. Kill Eater Alexandra. So, what are we celebrating? Do we need an occasion for a good drink, huh? <laughs> I don't need any occasion. We have an announcement. We've submitted our marriage application. You're engaged already? <laughs> oh, wow, that's great news. Yeah. Well done. Now the main thing is to obtain an exit permit. Let's drink to that. <laughs> Thank Cheers. You. Will anyone shout now kiss or not? Yes. Let's do it. Come on. Now kiss. Now kiss. Now kiss. 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 Now 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 kiss. One, two, three, four. Another kiss. Woo! Kim, dear. 
Yeah? You should appreciate me more. Do you even know what I had to give up for your sake? What? Mm -hmm. It's a wedding party. <laughs> Can you imagine? She got married. Linkov. She's so quick, huh? Linkov? Married when? I saw her three days ago. Just like that. She didn't say anything and suddenly, everybody is invited to my wedding. We all freaked out. <laughs>